Hi guys, welcome back. Today on Windows PC, I'm looking at a software program called Mendeley. Mendeley enables you to reference. There's many out there like Sortero and EndNote, but I want to have a look at Mendeley and see how good it is to get you up and running quickly. So first thing we need to do is actually download it. So I'm going to open up my Google, do a quick search, and select Mendeley Reference Management Software and Research and Network. Just quickly create a free account, it don't cost you anything, so you can save stuff online and share it and sync your references. So I want you to select download and select the option in the middle here, download Mendeley desktop for Windows, unless you're on the Mac of course. Download's bottom left hand corner, do a left click to now install it. Follow all links, agree and install. Make sure it's ticked to run Mendeley when you've finished and select finish. Where you've just signed up, I want you to add the information into there for me quickly. And that will bring up this window and you're now installed, you're now ready to go. Now it's telling you at the top here, you can see reference manager installed. So the program's now installed, which is Mendeley desktop. And on the right here is a little plugin so you can cite your work in Word or LibreOffice, depending on what you're using. So as I'm using Microsoft Word 2016, I'm going to select install now. And that will install a little plugin. It says installed, so that way I can cite my work later. Now I'm going to select close. This window pops up top left hand corner. Unless you're using another referencing software, for example, EndNote XML, you can then import your EndNote references into here. I am using EndNote, but I'm not actually going to import them in this video tutorial. But find your file, XML, and that will import them all for you. Or you might prefer Bibtex. So you can export with Bibtex, EndNote, Mendeley, Sortero, Paper2 and Refux. All export to Bibtex. Most of the library subscription databases don't export to a Bibtex file format, so bear that in mind. Also RIS. Well, I'm going to show you that quickly. When I open up the website and do a new one, I'm going to go to JSTOR as an example. Just to give you an idea of what RIS is. Open it up. And I'm going to type in there Let's just put science in and click enter for a general search. Now you might be looking down here and select some options. So I'm going to tap a few sources here, just randomly, a few book chapters. Now if I go to the top, I've got an option here that says exported selected citations. Now I'm going to export them to, as an RIS file. You see it's compatible with Mendeley as well. Left click. Bottom left hand corner, you can see the files there. I'm going to open it up to see what folder it's in. And it's my other drive, which is my download drive. So I'm now ready to import those sources into Mendeley. So I'm going to close that, open up Mendeley, close that, click next, next again, and close that. I'm going to go to File, I'm going to select Add Files, and there it is. Select it and click Open, and it automatically imports those sources for me from that website. If I actually click on one here, you can see to the right information regarding that as well, which is includes Publisher website and even ISBN number. If I scroll to the top, it even tells me it's a book section there. But what I want you to do quickly, come to view and select the citation style. You need to import your citation style depending on what you're studying. Now if you can't see it listed there, select more style there and then type in what you're looking for or select get more styles and again type in. So I just put or Scholar, for example, for law. And you see I've already installed that. But if you want University of York installer, click install, and then it installs it for you. If you know where the style is, you can even select the link in, paste it in there, and download the style manually there as well. And click done. So I go up to view, select citation style. I can then choose it here. I'll leave it on site then write 10th edition for Harvard. And when I imported those sources in JSTOR, all they put them is in all documents, so I need to create folders. See, it says here, create folders. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to call this just science, and left click off it. So there's my first folder. Now, if I do a right click on it, I can rename that folder, remove it, or even do a new folder or group. So I'm going to do a new folder. 
there we go so i've got my folder genes so if i actually went up to all documents i could hold the left button and drag them into whatever folders i wanted so if i click back on genes you can see them in there also with your sources if you come to the right of details you can add general notes in there as well it might be something you specifically want to use from that source you could type in there or just a general note to yourself and then tap back on details you can see the source also if you've got a book in your hand you need to reference that and come at the top here you've got an add option select it and then select for me add entry manually and then choose which source you're using for example book and then you can add it in through there as well also remember book session with books with multiple authors as well so make sure you choose the correct one and then you start typing in your information as you go through and you can see if i choose for example book it changes what fields you need to fill in and depending on what reference style you use it only use the options you filled in then so bear that in mind there's another good option that i've seen with this mendeley i'm just going to maximize the window got an option that says literature search so let's type something in and click enter this is a quick search for you for sources so i might go cancer stem cells i can see my source information to the right here as well and I can actually choose by selecting save reference if I want. So I'm going to do that now. So I've saved that reference. You might go through again. You see it's ticked it to the left. I might go human breast cancer cells. Again, if I come up here and double tap the link, it will bring up that abstract and that article for me so I can get full text. So you can have a look at that as well. And while you're there, you might highlight some of the abstract. So I'm about to decide, actually, I want that. So I'm going to save the reference. Go to all documents, you can see they've been added there as well. So then you can choose, hold the left button and drag them where you want again. Or if you hold control down, you can do more than one and drag. But I'm going to drag them into jeans. So I've got the human breast one, I'm going to select notes. Do a right click and I can paste the text that I might have got from that website earlier as well. And even highlight information, bold it, underline it, just to remind me. Also show what you can do, if you actually right click on a source, you've got an option that says related documents. So at the time we search related documents, it's not 100% accurate, but it's quite good just give you a chance when you are researching to find information quickly. Then you can go through that again, check to the right your information and find the sources you need. Now, I'm going to go back to my folder genes. So we looked at a couple of ways of sourcing. How about a journal? A couple of journals I've just downloaded earlier. So I'm just going to drag one of them in. And you see when I drag it in, you can see the actual link for the PDF. And to the right, it will try and find the source information. Now what it's found is year, volume and pages, author and link. But let me open it up again and drag the second one in as well. And it's it's a journal article and anything missing, you can double tap. Takes you to the link and add the required information from there if you want as well. Also, if I open up Google Chrome, we're missing something online here, which is a plugin you can use. It enables you to grab information on the internet. So go back to Mendeley and select Tools. MS Word plugin earlier, but you can install it and uninstall it from here, which enables you to cite your work. We've got an option that says Install Web Importer. I'm going to click it. I need to choose which browser I'm using. Obviously on the Mac you can use Safari, maybe Chrome and Firefox. But I'm using Chrome on the PC. Scroll down and select Install Chrome Browser Extension. Click Add to Chrome and it should come up Add Extension top right hand corner. And it's done. So now, if I type in some information, go to any link, that will do for an example. So again, you can click this option here to import into Medley any information from the website. So again, I'm going to go back to JSTOR. So I'm going to do a different search. There we go. And again, I'm just going to, an example, and select import into Medley. And you see here, it gives me all my sources. So then I could tick what I want. Or even select details. Of which one I want and select save and save and that's then saves them if I go to web library 
because you signed in, you're able to access this online web library, which you can share with other people by syncing if you want. And there's the sources there. I can create folders again if I want. I can even upload documents now or drop them in. So if I was to open up those journals or books again and drag them in, it will upload them for me automatically and store them. So a nice little option that as well. Right, let's go back to Mendeley. If you don't want a folder, come to the top here. You can delete a folder at the top here if you want. Or if you want, right click and you can remove them. All the sources you've got, all the authors will be listed down the bottom here. If you want to grab the information quickly by tapping on them, as you can see, it brings them up in the middle window. These are all the documents. These are recently added. Also to help you out, select the help option and it'll give you guides on how to use it as well, including citing your work in Microsoft Word and LibreOffice. But let's see if we can cite our work in Word now, shall we? So I'm going to open up a Word document and give it a go. So where you need to find a plugin is go to the References tab. And you can see the section here. The reference style I'm using is Cite Them Right. Remember, you can always select more styles here. You need to find the style you want. So I'm just going to paste that text earlier. Let's just use this as an example. The first thing you need to do is insert a citation. So this window pops up and it will search your library. So I'm going to click backspace. But if you can't remember your sources by typing them in, I'm just typing in general letters and it brings it up. You can select the option where it says go to Mendeley and it takes you right back to Mendeley. Just click clear to get rid of this and choose the one you want to use. So let's we'll use this one as an example. Come to the top here, you've got an option that says cite. You've now cited your work. So when you've finished all your citations, obviously at the end, you need your bibliography. And that's when you choose your insert bibliography. Leave it on rich text format and click OK. And there's your reference style. Also, I might want to change my reference style. For example, I might want APA. Click on APA and then that will change when I select insert bibliography. There's a quick video tutorial on using Mendeley. There's a lot more to it, but that should get you up and running with the basics. Thanks for watching.